Hi, today we're going to be talking about building English fluency and we're going to be doing it in quite a fun way. I'm going to be releasing a series of videos all about tongue twisters. Tongue twisters are great. Why? Because they help us to practice and improve our pronunciation and our fluency. And when we're learning a new language or a, a second language, uh, such as English in this case, it's fluency that we want. That's what it's all about. So tongue twisters can help us to improve diction and they can also help us to improve our accent if we're trying to per perfect a particular accent. And we do that through using a special skill called alliteration. It's a literary skill. Alliteration is the repetition of a sound. Sometimes we hear those in poems, but we definitely hear them in tongue twisters. So while tongue twisters are indeed loads of fun, it's not just children who like to read tongue twisters. And they're not the only people who benefit from practicing tongue twisters. Influential speakers, actors, politicians, and even royalty recite tongue twisters regularly so that they can improve their speaking for public speaking engagements. So in this first tongue twister fluency building video, I'm going to be focusing on the sh and s sounds. So some tongue twisters focus on the repetition of sounds and some focus on the repetition of words and there's often a very quick alternation between phonemes or sounds in tongue twisters and that's what causes us the trouble in getting our mouths round the words. So the idea with a tongue twister is to read it properly, read it carefully the first couple of times and then challenge yourself to get faster and faster. See if you can get faster without making any mistakes. It's not easy, I can assure you. It's loads of fun. So have a go, have a go with these tongue twisters that I'm going to show you today or share with you today. And then post your comments. Let me know how you get on. Do you struggle? Can you read them? Let's see how we get on. The first tongue twister that I've got is a very easy and well-known one. Remember I'm doing sh and s sounds just now. So the first one is she sells seashells. So here we go. She sells seashells on the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. For if she sells seashells on the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Have a go with that and see if you can get quicker and quicker. That was a fairly easy one to start off. You'll see the text for all of these tongue twisters in the comments below. Here's another one. This one is very funny. You need to be careful that you don't get your words mixed up. Susie works in a shoeshine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Again, Susie works in a shoe shine shop. Where she shines, she sits, and where she sits, she shines. Have a go with that one. Be careful with it though. This is a short one, but equally difficult. You've got to be very careful when you're trying to get your mouth around this one. Scissors, sizzle, thistles, sizzle. Scissors, sizzle, thistles, sizzle. Scissors, sizzle, thistles, sizzle. <laughs> okay, and the last one that I'm going to share with you today to have a go with the sh or the s sound is this. Silly Sally swiftly shooed seven silly sheep. The seven silly sheep, Silly Sally shooed, shilly shallied south. These sheep shouldn't sleep in a shack. S sheep should sleep in a shed. I almost got caught out myself there. Again, Silly Sally swiftly shooed seven silly sheep. The seven silly sheep, Silly Sally shooed, shilly shallied south. 
These sheep shouldn't sleep in a shack. Sheep should sleep in a shed. <laughs> Have a go with those and do let me know how you get on. I'd love to hear. Tell me if you know any that I can have a go at, see if you can catch me out. I'll be posting another video very soon with some other tongue twisters focusing on different sounds or different words for you to have a go with. Have fun and see you soon. Bye for now.